Item number, SCP-735. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-735 is to be stored in a locked cell at Research Site 14, with access granted to Level 2 personnel or higher, after having undergone a session of preparatory therapy to interact with the device. Description. SCP-735 was discovered in among the personal possessions of after said individual's body had been found, having committed suicide. The SCP in question is, in appearance, a small box, constructed of a brushed aluminum-like alloy of unknown composition, featuring a slot on one side. Sound is capable of being heard through this slot. When measurements are taken, the object is found to emit low-level magnetic pulses that intensify in the presence of humans. No external power source is required, and indeed, the surface of the item contains no input points. Upon contact with skin, SCP-735 will awaken and begin discussion with the person who touched it. This discussion is immediately and intensely hostile and personal in nature. The device apparently has one goal, and that is to incite the person in question to rage as quickly as possible. It does this primarily through profanity and verbal abuse, in a matter seemingly tailored to be the most discomforting to the subject. For example, during the conversation related in Addendum 735A, the vocal patterns of the device were recorded as sounding like an angry late middle-aged man with a New Jersey accent. SCP-735 is capable of speaking to a subject in any known language and dialect, but has a tendency to use one that will be the most upsetting to the person interacting with it. A notable side effect of interaction with the box is a sharp increase of adrenaline in the subject, far more so than would normally be produced in a similar situation. A control was created by subjecting several D-Class subjects to two similar devices. One was SCP-735, the other, an identically appearing box with an internal transmitter broadcasting a conversation between an actual human and the subject. In addition, the device seems to possess some kind of psychic ability, as it is able to reference experiences and personality or appearance aspects of the subject in question, despite having no prior contact or, in fact, any kind of visual receptors. The most typical results of interacting with the object are the reduction of the subject to incoherent rage, followed by the attempted immediate destruction of the SCP. While this is occurring, the device will goad the subject on, calling attention to the futility of the actions the subject is taking. Due to the resilience of the alloy, no attempt by a subject to destroy the device has, as yet, been successful. The reasons for this behavior are entirely unknown though there are a few theories. Dr. The last researcher associated with SCP-735 opined that it may be testing its subject. Another thought is that SCP-735 contains an artificial intelligence that is self-aware and is attempting to commit suicide by seeking assistance. Addendum 735A The following is the transcript of an interview with SCP-735 by Dr. Doctor, touching SCP-735 awake. Hello, 735. 735. Oh, it's you. You fat expletive. What the expletive do you want? Doctor, I'm coming to pick up where Doctor left off with you. 735. <laughs> that expletive, expletive. I hope he's having fun in that cell. The expletive. You want to go join him so you can expletive his expletive. Doctor. No, I'm here to talk about you today. 735. Oh yeah? Expletive. For brains. What about? The fact that it's Dr. R's co-worker been screwing your wife for the past two months? Doctor. That's not true. And you know it. Anyway, as I said, I'm here to talk about you. Not me. 
7.35. Yeah, you're right. Like how you couldn't get it up last night. Even though that fat expletive, Dr. R's wife, was pounding your expletive with a expletive. While that expletive, 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 porn was on. Huh? See, I knew you were a expletive, expletive. Doctor, becoming visibly agitated. All right, now you know that's really uncalled for. 735. You mean like that stink that's coming off of you? God, no wonder you're expletive, expletive. Wife is fooling around. You look and smell like a expletive, rotting buffalo, you eunuch. You know she has her tongue in expletive right now. She loves doing that. She would never do it to you, you hairy, bloated expletive. But that's okay. You like getting that from men anyway. Doctor. Shut up. Shut up. I can't help it. I work in this hole all day just to afford that house she made me buy. I can't help it if I never have time to go to the gym. 735. <laughs> you miserable expletive. You haven't seen your expletive in five years anyway. It's too late for the gym. And you're still not making enough money to satisfy that expletive. That's why I bought your expletive wife that new blouse last week. Doctor. She said it was on sale. 735. She would. She's an expletive liar, and you're a pathetic expletive moron to believe her. Doctor. You piece of expletive. You take that back. 735. Like you took back that car you bought because the expletive wife made you? Jesus, she's got the whip wrapped around your neck, you expletive dog. Doctor. You expletive pile of expletive. I'll kill you. Doctor proceeds to pick up SCP-735 and slam it against the wall repeatedly before throwing it on the floor and kicking it across the room. 735. You pansy expletive, expletive. Hit me. Do it harder, expletive. You're a expletive weak human, just like the rest of them. I wouldn't want to be one of you dirty expletive when the Reavers finally get here. Doctor, still physically assaulting SCP-735. Expletive. You, expletive. You. At this point in the recording, Security personnel enter the room and forcibly remove Dr. 735. You p Recording ends. Addendum 735B. After this incident, Dr. is removed from the 735 project. Addendum 735C. A proposal has been requested by Dr. to apply SCP-1331 to SCP-735 in attempts at reducing or neutralizing its effect. This proposal is currently being reviewed by the Ethics Committee and Site-14 Administration. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-734, The Baby, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.